So we're back again. Jordan and the Viper versus Jitba and Riot, part two of the deathmatch uh, section of game five. So the game five is technically in uh, in two parts. You haven't, no one has actually won the fifth point yet. Now, if uh, Jitba and Riot win this, uh, they will take the point. If Viper and Jordan win it, they will play one more, and from there they will uh, decide the winner. It's best of three, basically. So, let's have a look who we've got, down to the south or west of the map in the blue, we've got Jidba, he's playing as the Huns, and down to the very southeast of the map in the red, we've got, uh, sorry, uh, we have Rhea as the Huns, Jidba in red as the Goths, so it's Goths plus Huns in this one, uh, north, sort of, east of the map in the yellow, we've got the Viper as the Huns, and over to the northwest of the map in the grey, we've got Jordan 23 as the Goths, the action, gonna get pretty quick, here. Now, obviously, the Paladin is going to be greater than the Huskars in 1v1, but you cannot doubt the Goths of Barracks creation speed. It's incredibly fast. And we can see Jidba here already starting to overrun the Viper a little bit. And one of the keys to getting a good start in Deathmatch is get your opponent locked in their base. And if you can pick down, pick off any villagers, if you distract their economy, as uh, well, their villagers as best you can, you can get off to a really, really good start. Um, being able to pick those villagers quickly is, is so crucial. It stops your opponents from being able to add more uh, buildings and it will slow down their military production. Jidba's already a thousand score ahead of everyone else. He's already got his castle up, he's already got these buildings, he's already flooding the Viper out. Which is just nuts, it's so fast. Viper making the heavy cavalry archer. Now of course he's playing as the Huns, so it makes a lot of sense to do that when you see that your opponent, the Goth, is switching into Halberdier. But, um, I think overall the Huns are going to be stronger than the Goths it's, uh, in a 1v1. But you cannot doubt the Goths' barracks creation speed. And the Goths here, getting off to a fast start, keeping Viper locked in his base, is giving uh, the room now for Jidba to build up. On the left side, Riot absolutely overwhelming Jordan, it seems. And once again, we've got uh, Riot and Jidba managing to get a big lead very quickly. And look at Riot's army, is nuts, it's huge. And he's got the perfect mix of the cavalry archers and the paladins. Jordan cannot switch to uh, Huskars here. He kind of has to keep making the halberdier. But uh, once again, he's he's kind of slow. He's only got uh, five barracks, and it's just not enough. Jordan, you need more barracks, man. Um, if we have a look at how many Viper has, or how many buildings he's got, he's got a ton. Have a look at how many Jidba has. Uh, okay, no mind. He's got five barracks as well. <laughs> I forget it's in fast speed, but I honestly, I would say that more than five is necessary here. If we have a look at Jordan 23's population, he's only got 73. Surely adding more barracks here is the way to go, right? You think five barracks, it's not a lot of military creation speed. Seems odd to me that five is the number. But I am definitely not that acquainted with Deathmatch, let's be honest. Uh, so Ritz really pushing Jordan back here now, which is really good for uh, him and Jidba. Viper's pushing back on the right side, and it's expected, I imagine, to the, for the Huns to push the, the, uh, the, the Goths right back. Jidba is losing some ground, that is for sure. And Viper now starting to get that trade going as well, and starting to build those castles up, starting to do all of that good stuff. I feel so surprised that it's only five barracks for the Goths. I suppose he has got two castles as well, so still very fast creation speed from the castles there. But Riot's coming in now with the uh, Siege Rams, the castle here getting battered away at. And uh, we've got hand cannons coming out from Jordan 23, which is a good choice to make. I feel, well, it's somewhat good choice. Against a uh, heavy cavalry archer, you're still gonna struggle with, um, with anything as the Goths. Uh, uh, you know, that's, there's no real answer to the Heavy Cavalry Archer for the Goths, unless you just mass the halves enough. But this castle going down, Riot's uh, spearheading into Jordan 23's base, and if those barracks go down as well, Jordan's going to have pretty much no production. He's rebuilt some over this side, but, uh, well, Viper's heading in to help out. Meanwhile, as Viper helps out Jordan, uh, we've got Jitba making a big push in the center of the map, or the right of the map, uh, trying to do what damage he can to uh, the Viper here, and uh, well, Jibba's are going for the Elite Huskars, which makes a lot of sense, as uh, Viper's got mostly heavy cavalry archers in this instance, but Riot's got that momentum now, 
The first two C from Jordan probably going to go down. And Jordan's deathmatch definitely looks a little bit weak in comparison to the other guys, I've got to say. Uh, Jipper just keeping the pressure onto the Viper here. Keeping him locked in his base. And that is that. I mean, let's be honest, that is pretty nuts. But it always amazes me how quickly they can build up their ecos. I mean, if you have a look at the ecos back here, it's just so much uh, already built up. And they will continue to add that, of course. You have to be able to sustain military production eventually. Um, but seriously, Jippo just taking down these castles with Huskars alone. Um, he's forced Viper right the way back. And now, of course, Jordan trying to push back against Riot, but what can he do? What can he do? He's only got four barracks here. I don't think that's enough production. And uh, Jordan's out of food now as well. As I said in the last game, when I say you burn through those resources, you really do. He's out of food already. And his economy back here is just not enough to keep those uh, units coming out. And there is the GG again. 13 minutes that time. And Rit and Jidba winning their team a point, I feel, there. Uh, well, it is definitely winning their team a point. There's no question about it. Uh, Warlord's going to take game five, technically, in this best of three. Pretty interesting stuff. It's nice to see a little bit of deathmatch thrown in. Uh, it's so fast, though. You can't really keep up with it. I struggle to keep up with it. But Jidba, fantastic deathmatch player. Re really having a good game there as well. And I feel like the Huns should win against the Goths uh, initially. I think initially the Goths could have a good shot, but I think the Huns win overall just because the heavy cavalry archers and the paladin combination. But uh, yeah, Jordan 23, I don't think he was fast enough in those games, and that is it. GG. Uh, Warlord's going to take game 5.